The BSA Library is located in the centre of Athens, in fact, in an area called Kolonaiki, which is supposed to be a very residential area. When I first arrived, I thought, where on earth is this British School of Athens? And it is like an oasis in the middle of a concrete city. <laughs> The library is located at the heart of the BSA, the Penrose extension of the hostel, and in a way it is the heart of the BSA because uh, the connection of some people to the school is basically their connection to the library. The library was founded in uh, 1886 when the school was uh, founded, but it was moved to its current location in uh, 1903. In 1899, George Finley, the Scottish Philelin, uh, donated his entire collection of books, pamphlets and uh, maps to the BSA. And this is how the research library began to form. This library has benefited a lot from uh, sponsors and donors. It's hard to name all of them. Obviously, the first uh, big book donation came from George Finley in 1899. The most recent big donation came from Professor Richard and Mary, Clogue, Mary Jo Clock in 2018. I cannot stress enough how grateful we are to those donors. The library has a collection of 70,000 monographic uh, titles and around 1,300 uh, journal titles that cover all aspects of uh, Hellenic studies from the Paleolithic to the present day. It also holds uh, a very interesting map collection with cartographic material from Greece from the 17th century to the present day and also an aerial photograph collection with photographs taken from uh, World War II. Our digital content is uh, accessible to our members uh, from all over the world. I think as a collection, I think the travellers are my favourite part because they saw a Greece that neither you or I know of today, and their descriptions and their technique in recreating drawings of these beautiful monuments will remain with us forever. One of the most exciting books uh, we have in this collection is a 1822 copy of the Sardanapalus by Lord Byron that belonged to Byron himself and came to the possession of uh, Finlay after Lord Byron died in Mesologi. And it has a personal note by Finlay that explains how this uh, book came to his possession. The BCA Library has a very international character. We can find people from all over the world. And what's interesting is that all these people are interested in uh, Hellenic studies. They're interested in Greece. We start off from British University students who originally come over on a summer course that is held Apart from the members of the school, many people enroll as readers. These people include faculty and members of uh, universities and academic institutions in the UK, Greece, but also a lot of other countries. And then, of course, from the archaeological service, from the efforts, we mainly try and keep it open for everybody. When I first came here, I just had the impression that this is a place to last. It is a place that will be here for the centuries to come. Thinking of three words to describe the BSA, I would say resourceful, determined and eccentric. <laughs>